So today I wanna to share with you what you can do to actually afford the car of your dreams. What is it gonna take for you to be able to make that happen? Because a lot of people are using the wrong money to afford the lifestyle they want, but this other lifestyle money that I'm gonna be talking about, it, it never needs to be replenished. It never runs out and it keeps on going. And you probably guessed if you're a subscriber on my channel that I use this little vehicle called real estate that buys me all these toys. For the last few years, I've been driving a BMW i8. It's super futuristic. I've absolutely loved that car. And as I've been looking at Lamborghinis and, and some other supercars, BMW just came out with the i8 in a convertible style in a Spider Roadster. And I gotta check it out. It's so far been my favorite car that I've ever had to drive because it's, it's all electric. It has turbo gas in the back and it gets to be crazy fast when I want it to, but totally conservative when I want it to. And I always said there's only one thing that could make that car better a convertible. Wow. So for the last few years, I've actually been driving an i8 and I love it. And I'm up for a new car and I'm looking at a Lamborghini, I'm looking at a Ferrari but they just came out with this i8 in a spider so a so in a convertible version and um i've had such an amazing experience and i'm german so i love i love beamers so uh just you gotta check this out have you ever seen a car's rear end look so hot carbon fiber woven in here. A lot of people look at supercars and, and right now I've been looking at Lamborghinis and Ferraris and you know, one of the things about having a really nice car is a lot of people, they think it's all about having the car, but the reality is, for the first many years that I was actually building my business, I couldn't afford anything like this. And so when you want to buy something like this, or you want to buy any luxury item, one of the things that you want to be thinking about is how you're paying for it. If you're using money that you have to work for, then you're a slave to money, and you're just trading dollars and hours. However, if it's the other way around, and you've made investments, and those investments are now paying you, if your money's working for you and you're using that money to buy these things, then you can afford it. So when it comes to having the nice cars, the nice houses, the nice things like this, you gotta delay gratification. You gotta start by asking yourself, how do I, how do I actually use my money up front to buy investments that can buy me a nice, uh, you know, a nice living as opposed to, hey, how do I just have the appearance of success, which is I make a lot of money and then I spend it like crazy on this stuff. Those people always have a very sad ending because they're trapped, there is no freedom. Here's what freedom really means. Freedom means I don't have to work and I still get to have the toys. If you can't have that, you're doing it backwards. You know, there's so many people that want to have, you know, the nicer things or they want the nicer lifestyle. They want to have the nice cars. They want the nice house, they want to have the nice travel, but the reality is it's got to be backed by a smart economic engine. And you know, there's a lot of lame engines out there that just don't work. You know, MLM doing a lot of these things that are just low likelihood of success, why don't you just go into the one thing that actually works? I mean, real estate is the most expensive commodity the average person's ever going to deal with and it has more zeros attached than anything else. And if you're going to spend your time as an entrepreneur selling or promoting anything, then do the thing that has the most zeros that most people want. Guess what that's called? It's called real estate. So if you're an investor and you deal in property and you're making $50,000 to $100,000 every single home, guess what it does? It means that you can afford really nice things. The secret though is figuring out how to get your first deal. And then when you get your first, you wanna get your second, your third, your fifth, your tenth. And if you can do it once, you can do it 10 times. And if you can do it 10 times, you can do it 100 times. 
This year, I'll buy hundreds of single family homes. I'll make hundreds of thousands of dollars on every batch of these that I do. I'll make millions of dollars this year on these homes that I buy, all because I figured out how to systematize it. Okay, now I just gotta feel the wind. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> All right. Yeah, dude, you can feel that. Yeah, it has the same get up and go. Has the same get up and go. Uh, I just love the feeling of a convertible. I love the wind in my hair. I just feel free, which is what that real estate is all about, is real estate buys freedom if you know what you're doing and if you do it the right way. So here's the reality. If you want to know how to afford a nice car like that, a nice house, if you want to have some of the nicer things in life and you want to figure out how do I put my money to work even if I got little or nothing so that I can actually build assets that cover and pay for my lifestyle what I want you to do is click the link in the description below where you can get a chance to talk to a member of my team we'll break it all down for you we'll give you a game plan because heck I started out broken with absolutely nothing and I got where I am today in a very short period of time because real estate is that big of a vehicle if you know what you're doing also if you wouldn't mind go ahead and comment below if I had to choose between the BMW i8, a Lamborghini, or a Ferrari, what do you think I should pick?